In this video, we will set up the boundary conditions and use the GPU solver. The results from this video are shown on screen. Okay, now let's move over to the explore tab. So the explore tab uses the GPU solver as mentioned previously. The GPU solver can essentially be thought of as a fast way to get a solution, but a lower accuracy. So your trade, so it's always the trade-off between speed and accuracy. So you can think of it as explore being the fast way to get rapid results. And I'll show you what that means as we go on. Put up our CFD, we want to go to fluid flow. And this will now give us some options here. We want to select the front face here. And this will be the inlet. So the inlet will be the speed of the air moving towards the car. And let's set this to be 20 meters per second. And then hit enter. So as we can see in the tree here, our flow inlet was created. And now we want to do the same for the outlet. Let's go to the back, click outlet, click the outlet, and then we want to go to this drop box here and select outlet. The output pressure will be zero MPA gauge. So this means that the difference that the difference pressure at the outlet is zero. So essentially it's just flying from the front of the domain straight through to the back of the domain with no pressure pulling it backwards or pushing it forwards. And now we can handle the walls. So let's assume that all of the walls are considered um, non-stick, non essentially. So if we go to wall, let's select all of the four walls around the car. So our two options here are no slip and free slip. So let's select them to be free slip. Essentially free slip means that the velocity is maintained at the wall. It's not being forced to go to zero as with a slip, as with a no slip wall. Essentially, uh, this means that we don't get a boundary layer. Cool. And finally, our last uh, boundary condition that we want to apply is that the wheels are rotating. So to do this, um, you want to hold control and scroll, and that'll select uh, surfaces uh, deeper within the body, essentially. So if you hold control, scroll, and select a wheel here, we want the wheel to be a slip, a no slip wall, and we want it to be rotating. And in this current axis, so we have Y pointing out this way, we want it to be rotating 1500 radians per second in the in the negative y direction. In the positive y direction, sorry. And then hit the tick. So if we go back to it, we can see that the wheel is rotating forwards, which is aligned to the car moving forwards here. Now we want to repeat the process for the back wheel as well. So rotating 1500 rats per second with the wheel moving forwards. All right, a few things to do before we solve. Um, you want to come up here and then change from water. Uh, so double click it, you go to water and select air. So this just changes the material within the fluid domain. Essentially, if we solve with water, we would expect to see the forces be a little bit higher. And finally, we want to create a monitor point yeah, a monitor point essentially tracks how a property solves. Property changes as we solve, um, or changes in time. So if we go to monitors and we go select a variable, we want to plot, we want to see essentially the downforce and the, the drag acting on the vehicle. So if we go to force, um, let's go uh, normal to the plane. If we box select everything, uh, we can plot the force in the X. This will be the drag. This is called force three. And if we do the same thing, and we go uh, box select, and we go Z, this will plot the downforce uh, acting on the car. 
and we can confirm this by looking at the axis here. So Z points up and X points forwards. Okay, we're almost ready to solve now. So if we go to uh, simulation options, we can solve in steady, steady state, or we can also solve in time dependent state. Uh, let's solve in time dependence. Um, let's close all that. I'll go through those options a little bit later. And um, let's keep the fidelity at about halfway. Um, so fidelity is essentially the fineness of the grid. The higher the fidelity, the more fine the grid will be. And to solve, all you need to do is just click this uh, button here in the middle. So what was generated is a streamline plot, uh, but we can hide that by clicking that. And we can go to contours, uh, select all bodies, and this creates a composite plot. And essentially you can change what speed of air is plotted just by dragging these two uh, bounds up and down. So this is a really useful tool for flow visualization. We can also draw our streamline plot again. And we can view how um, points of air moving through the, the inlet uh, develop as they go to the outlet. And as we can see behind the car, the flow is uh, very unstable. As we can see it moving around and developing uh, in time. Um, if we go to details, we can also plot the force versus the time here. And as we can see, the force does vary a little bit with time. It looks like it has a rough it looks like it has a mean and it has a uh, variation as well. So the mean can be around halfway here. Now let's start solving uh, using the static uh, solver. Essentially what we want to do here is um, we want to use the static solver to quickly resolve um, different iterations essentially. Um, so what I mean by that is, is we want to quickly um, find a solution. So what's really good about the GPU solver is that it's really fast. So what we can do here is, uh, let's say for example, we want to change the height of the rear wing. So if we go to the move tool, uh, I'm just going to box select the rear wing and I'm going to drop it down a little bit. You may have noticed that the rear wing was brought up and I've brought it back down for example purposes. So with the rear wing brought all the way up, you can see that this is the force, the drag force here at the lift created here. And now I've brought the wing down and now we want to solve the static case. And if you do this um, using the explore feature, you can rapidly make small design changes and then find how they have an impact uh, on these monitor points here. So it's a really quick way of finding um, which setup has the lowest drag. Okay, now a steady state case has converged. We can see that decreasing the wing has actually decreased the amount of drag acting on the vehicle and has increased the downforce acting on the vehicle as well. So use this method to make really quick design changes to minimize the drag.